An idea born during the pandemic is blossoming into something much bigger. The online community built for local makers now has a brick and mortar location, bringing new life into Coventry Village. Tonight, News 5 anchor Mike Brookbank takes us inside Made Cleveland and shows us the impact it's expected to have on a neighborhood that's seen its share of ups and downs. Small businesses shuttered, common sight early on in the pandemic and Coventry Village saw its share of storefronts go dark. Coventry had kind of fallen on hard times for a little bit. Ash O'Connor now helping lead the charge. There were definitely moments where we questioned, why are we doing this? <laughs> to create new momentum in this corridor. It's kind of going through a resurgence and we're so excited to be a part of that. O'Connor's Made Cleveland just opened its doors in the old City Buddha location. I can tell you when you walk in, you'll still smell City Buddha. There is some lingering incense, so you'll feel right at home. <laughs> the 5,700 square foot space. We're definitely seeing a need for this. Now filled with goods from 120 local makers. What we've done is we've created a department store for or at small businesses. The inventory, just as diverse and eclectic as Coventry Village itself. Art, apparel, home goods, furniture, we have glass blowing classes. O'Connor, taking the online community she created at the start of the pandemic. Very similar to like an Etsy for Northeast Ohio. And turning it into something tangible. And it really drove home how important it is to shop local. Um, so I don't think it's a trend. I think it's something that's on the uptick um, and we're just trying to make it as easy as possible. On a street still filled with some for rent signs, neighboring shops like Passport to Peru welcome this new addition. Seeing this come in is what makes us really happy because we get to see a bunch of Cleveland artists coming in and seeing what they got. Along with those artists, additional foot traffic is also expected as once online customers get the chance to shop from all their favorites now under one roof. It's still a little surreal how, um, how much we've grown in two years. Reporting in Cleveland Heights, Mike Brookbank, News 5.